Hi, my name is Don Pataki and today I'd like to introduce you to a product that I developed uh, that helps canopies and tents and outdoor recreational uh, devices stay attached to the ground much better than the original design stake, single stake system that's provided by a manufacturer. Now what this is, it's a plate, it's very simple, there's no moving parts except the stakes and it forces the stakes into the ground at an angle. Now the plate goes over the top of the base of the, of the canopy, canopy leg at the bottom and the stake slides through and it attaches itself to the, ba to the foot of the canopy. What I want to show you is a pull test between the standard original stake that's provided with the canopy put that in the ground and the ground gripper. You'll see how effective the ground gripper is at retaining its attachment to the, to the soil. I'm going to put this fixture on here to, to pull up. There we go. Let's see what we get. First we'll do the, uh, the original stake. We'll reset our luggage scale to zero and we'll give a pull. Oh gosh, that was terrible. That was uh, 10, 11 pounds. And now we'll che check the ground gripper. Okay, we just surpassed that. Well, there's 30 pounds. There's 35 pounds. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, <clears throat> 65 pounds. We'll continue to pull 70, 75 pounds right there. <clears throat> and you'll see it's moving, but it's still retaining its power. That is what we call success. All right, what I'm going to show you now is another pull test on how effective the ground gripper is at maintaining its, its attachment to the soil versus the original stake that's provided with a, a canopy. Here's the stake, original stake. And here's the ground gripper. We'll do the, the original stake first again. And where we go, we've got 20, 25. There we go, we had 30, almost 34 pounds there. Now you'll notice the stake just moved a little bit. I can show you the next time I pull this, it's not going to even be close to 34 pounds. There, we got we got 20 that time. So if a gust of wind comes and starts to remove this stake, you've all of a sudden lost all your stiction power inside the ground there. So it doesn't take anything to pull it the rest of the way out. <clears throat> the ground gripper will be able to maintain almost exactly the same pull force if it moves from a gust of wind. Let's see what we get. There's 45. There's 50. 55. 60, 65 pounds, still maintaining 65 pounds. We've got 65 pounds to pull. It did start to move at that point, but it's still maintaining almost the exact same pulling force. You see that? It's wonderful, wonderful. And let's pull it to failure. It's probably going to be about 65 pounds. Yep. Yep, started to come out. Now, what I've noticed is that some people try to make their canopy 
stay on the ground by attaching it with milk jugs that they carry from home and uh, coolers they tie them down to them or sandbags which are all very heavy. Um, the the uh, benefit to the plate if you just get one two plates for the, the windy corners uh, or all four plates they, they fit in your pocket they're very light and simple uh, you don't have to carry them around in your car now if you we just did some pull tests and we came up with a 65 pound pole yesterday I did some tests I was at maxed out my scale over 75 pounds now if you take the lesser value of 65 pounds and you try to attempt to create the amount of force that this attaches itself to the ground with, that would require you to carry eight gallon jugs filled with water for every corner of your canopy. Now that's a lot of weight to be carrying around in your car and carrying back and forth to the field. So this, is, this makes perfect sense. It's very lightweight, it's easy to use, and it's safe.